Holy Rosary Church Tečka, a symbol of Christian tradition and service. Go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Excellencies and my dear friends, we greet you in the name of Jesus. On behalf of Holy Rosary Church in Bangladesh, we welcome you all. And now we welcome you with a song in Bangla. The Holy Rosary Church in Techka, Dhaka, Bangladesh is located in Farmgate area which is at the heart of the Dhaka city. This church is the biggest church in Bangladesh and highest number of Christian faithful live within the parish areas of Techka. The Holy Rosary Church is representing the Catholic Archdiocese of Dhaka as an important church that bears long history and tradition of Christian faith in Bangladesh. Pastoral activities, religious cultural traditions of this church have contributed towards a comprehensive and fullness of faith and tradition in the church in Bangladesh. Various activities that are undertaken by the parish centric organizations and committees, example, the parish council, liturgy committee, holy childhood, YCS, altar boys girls, BCSM association of the youth, Legion of Mary and Charismatic Prayer Group has been bearing unique witness of pastoral care and services of Holy Rosary Church. Side by side, the disabled center popularly known as Asha Griho. Home of the Hope the home of compassion run by the missionaries of Charity Sisters. Jagoruni Jute Handicraft Center, Rehabilitation Center for Women. Techka Church Community Center, Church Primary School. Society of St. Vincent de Paul have been providing different services and contributing towards socio-economic development of the destitute people, healing services for the sick, including education, skills training, and above all, formation of a community life in a city life. All these activities symbolize the services and care of our Lord Jesus Christ. And right now, we are having the novena of the Holy Rosary, our parish priest. And I'm very glad to be in front of our mother, Virgin Mary, the patron of this parish. Now I'm going to share with you some of the challenges or the main issues that we deal with. You know, Holy Rosary Church or the Tezgon Church is an urban parish. People migrating from different parts of the country, either for education or for the livelihood or medical treatment or for job or any other business. And they are getting settled here in Tezgon area under this parish. And therefore, these people are all scattered. They are not staying in a particular place, but scattered in different places, living with the Muslims, with the Hindus, and of course, with the Christians or with the Catholics also. So the main challenge we have right now is post-pandemic. Many of our parishioners are very much affected by the pandemic. And now uh, this pandemic causes a severe loss of income in their livelihood. And secondly, uh, family conflict. Due to this pandemic, people stayed together for a longer period of time. And those who have good relationship in the family life their relationship has been strengthened. But there are other families whose family bond was not so good 
and now it has been very much deteriorated. And in some extent, I find it very alarming, the family born here in the city now. People easily come to the parish to discuss with me or with other priests, and they ask for an almond. They go to the court where they can live separately. They ask for separation. And some people, they do not even care for reconciliation. They straight away want to go to the court for separation or come to us and apply for an almond. And second issue, we can consider the mass media. And this is really everywhere, I think, in the world. Our people facing difficulties with the social media. And our young people, our children, they're all becoming addicted to social media. And that may be one of the reasons during the pandemic, the schools were all on online. The little children who were supposed to go to the school, instead of going to the school, they were at home and they're all using social media, this mobile, the computer, and many of them have got already addicted. And I'm sorry to say that we had some also, some or few suicidal cases. Uh, students studying in the school, maybe for the unrest in the family, or not doing well in the school, or maybe some other problems, their love affair, and they think suicidal is the only solution in their life. It is very sad. And another point I can share with you, that our people here in the parish, they are more interested about the celebrations, rather than formation program. Whenever we have any formation program, like retreat, then some seminar, the attendance is not so satisfactory. But for any kind of celebrations, you find hundreds of people there. And of course, if there is food, there are more people. Offering pastoral care and providing spiritual nursing for the faithful is the main goal of the parish of Holy Rosary Church. Pastoral services and spiritual care provided by the parish priests comprises offering Sunday Mass at the main church, including offering Mass at different houses of sisters' congregation, students' hostel and chapels, administering baptism, First Communion, Confirmation, Wedding are also key activities of the parish priests. The parish priests also provide sacramental services, such as anointing the sick, giving communion to the patients and sick people at different hospitals, clinics and homes, and offer family prayer services, family counseling, etc. By offering all this pastoral and spiritual care for the parishioners, the priests of the Techka Parish have been giving living witness of Christ among the faithful. So I've already discussed with you about the challenges or the difficulties that we face or some of the issues that we deal with in the parish. But there are some good things that we have also in our country or in my parish. The people come to the church on Sunday. We are so happy that despite the pandemic, people come to the church. And in the parish premise, we have the grotto here, we have the adoration chapel here, and we have the cemetery at the back. And therefore, the main gate is always open from 6 to 8.30 in the evening. So people come during their day either to pray in from the grotto, they come to the adoration chapel, they come to the cemetery, and spend time in prayer, in silence. This is really very extraordinary in our church, and I'm so happy about it. So for to, to address the challenges that I have shared with you, now what we do? We try to arrange awareness program, for the, especially for the youth. And we have BCSM, Bangladesh Catholic Student Movement. They also organize program by themselves, uh, where they have some study program, and then also they uh, talk about the present issues, and they find out the remedy or the solution. And also from the part of the parish, we try to arrange program and make the hour. These are the things that we are trying to do in the parish level for the good of our people, our faithful. And 
also since our people live with other religions the same building may be on the third floor muslim and the second floor hindu and the first floor ground floor or the fourth floor our catholics but they also always maintain good relationship with the people of other faiths there is peace and harmony in their living there this is what is really a good achievement for us in the city parish in the urban parish with the increasing number of faithful under the parish good number of educational health and financial institutions are emerging in different areas due to urbanization numbers of migrated faithful have been increasing regularly along with the local faithful currently the holy rosary church has a total of 15000 faithful which comprises both migrated people as well as the local people following the teaching of jesus christ that is go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature all his disciples spread around the world to evangelize all people St Thomas, one of the 12 disciples of Jesus Christ, landed in the Indian subcontinent to preach the gospel. He sowed the seed of Christian faith in the Indian subcontinent. Christian faith was brought to Bengal in 1517 by the Portuguese traders. Even though the gospel was first preached in Chittagong, but gradually it spread into other parts of Bengal soon. In 1674, The Tejka parish was established. The old church building which is now preserved as a heritage and an adoration chapel was built in 1677. Over the years, when number of faithful increased and pastoral activities widened, then the current church building was constructed in the year 1993. The new church has the sitting capacity of 1600 people. We express our thanks and gratitude on this special occasion and it was a privilege for us that we have virtually visited our parish Holy Rosary Church in Bangladesh. Please remember us all in your prayers that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary we can all grow in the spirit of the synod of church thank you all